Yeah, okay. Hello, today's Friday. We did it. We're here. We made it. What now? The weekend. Then what? Another week. Then the weekend again. Today's Friday, uh, May, not May at all, July 24th. We're almost at the end of July. Next comes August. <laughs> um, let's end Friday on a fun, happy note. It's by Robert Munch, one of my favorites. Get out of bed. This is not by uh, Michael Martinchenko, the illustrator. It's Alan and Lee Daniel. And so there's different pictures here, but it, it's by Robert Munch. And the book is Get Out of Bed with an exclamation mark. All right, get out of bed. It's Friday, the weekend's almost here. You can sleep on the weekend. Here we go, let's do it. In the middle of the night when everyone else was asleep, Amy went downstairs. She watched the late show, the late, late show, the late, late, late show, the early, 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 early show and went to bed because she was feeling somewhat tired. She stayed up really, really, really late. The next morning, everyone came to the breakfast table except Amy. Where is Amy, said her father. Where is Amy, said her brother. Amy is asleep, said her mother. I have called her five times and she is still asleep. What are we going to do? No problem, said her brother. I can get her up. All right, what are you going to do, brother? Let's see. Amy's brother ran up the stairs and yelled as loudly as he could. Amy! Amy snored. Be late for school, he said. See if I care. And he ran back downstairs. Well, I know what to do, said Amy's father. Hmm, what's his plan? He walked up the stairs and said in his surnest father voice, Amy, if you don't get out of bed this instant, I'm going to be very mad at you. Amy snored. He went back downstairs and told Amy's mother, Your daughter will not get up. Well, I have something that sometimes works, she said. All right. Brother's yelling didn't work. Uh, Dad's stern voice didn't work. She ran up the stairs, stood Amy on her feet, and said very nicely, Amy, sweetie, honey pie, apple pie of my dreams, please wake up. Amy fell over and went to sleep on the floor. Her mother ran back downstairs and said, I can't get her up. I can't get her up. Well, they got problems because they got to go to school. Parents got to go to work. Uh-oh. Oh, no, said her father. I have to go to work. Oh, no, said her brother. I have to go to school. I have to go to work too, said her mother. But what are we going to do about Amy? Let's take her to school in her bed, said her brother. Amy's mother and father looked at each other and said, good idea. It's not a good idea. Get this child up. Figure something out. You can't take her in her bed. I guess in a Robert Munch book you can. So they put Amy back on, in her bed and picked it up. Then they walked out the front door, down the street, around the corner, through the schoolyard, and into the school. They put the bed down in the back of the classroom and left. What are the teachers going to say? What are the students going to say? What is the principal going to say? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Later that day, the principal came in and said, What is going on here? Hey, 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 what is going on here? You know where that's from? Say by the bell. Building? Okay. Uh, I don't know, said the teacher. It's Amy. She will not get out of bed. No problem, said the principal. She walked over and yelled at Amy as loudly as she could. Wake up! Amy snored. I give up, said the principal. Nice try, principal, but that was not a very good try. She is sleeping in class. Look at this. Everybody's gathering. She's still sleeping. They're all reading. Uh, they're, you know what they're reading, by the way? They're reading, uh, what are they reading? Look at this. <gasps> they're reading the same book. They're reading Get Out of Bed. That's the picture that we're on. That's a crazy picture. I think that's nuts. Okay, so the teacher taught reading and Amy didn't wake up. The teacher taught arithmetic, which is a fancy word for mathematics or math. And Amy still didn't wake up. They went to the gym and Amy didn't wake up. They went out for recess and Amy went, uh, didn't wake up. They had lunch and Amy didn't wake up. They had art and Amy still didn't wake up. And they're drawing on her, they're painting on her a little bit. She doesn't care. She's sleeping. You don't care about much when you're sleeping. Finally, it was time to go home. Call the mother, call the father, yell the principal. Get this kid out of here. So Amy's mother came from work and her father came from work and her brother came from school. They picked up Amy's bed, carried it home and all had dinner except Amy because Amy was asleep. If she get, if she never gets up, said her brother, can I have her room? Me and my brothers often talked, well, I often talked to my brothers about getting their rooms. <laughs> so that's a very familiar thing in my books. But the next morning, Amy did get up. She ran downstairs and said, oh, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in years. Nice to see you, said her mother. Did you have a nice sleep? 
Wonderful, said Amy, but I had strange dreams. Hmm. Then her mother went to work and her father went to work and Amy and her brother went to school. All right, so looks like everything is back to normal, but whoa, let's see, there's still more of this book. At the door of the school, the principal said, good morning, Amy, how are you today? Wonderful, said Amy, but I had strange dreams last night. I bet, said the principal. Then Amy walked into the classroom and everyone snored. Oh man, you got people in hammocks. Boy, oh boy. That teacher's not very happy with her because she started a whole trend of kids sleeping in class. Here we go, here's the last picture. Uh, I guess she's gonna do it all over again with all her pets that she somehow got. Does she have these pets the whole time? I'm not know. Get Out of Bed by Robert Munch. Enjoy sleeping in tomorrow morning though because it's Saturday morning and hopefully you'll be sleeping in. Bye!